Good day everybody, Nelka again here and another question from our friend in YouTube. His name is Michael Sinaga and he asked me, thank you, how can I know, sorry, thank you, can I know how to calculate double glazing with solar factor and shading heat gain coefficient value and daylighting analysis? Okay, so Michael is asking about the daylighting calculation and I think this is about the specification of the uh, glass. So double glazing with solar factor and shading heat gain coefficient value. Okay, so let's go now and check this one. So again, I opened my Dialux Evo which I used previously in my other tutorial. And uh, to do that, to answer Michael, we need to have a glass in our project. So right now, I have this full height window glass facade. And he asked how, he, how we can run a calculation with a double glazing. So Michael, before you do that, you need to install or... Yeah, you need to install an, another app that is all about the facade elements. Yeah, I go back here. So I'll go and select in my catalog the Hella brand. And then, okay, I think it's loading the Hella brand. So I'll go back. Uh, yeah, I go back to my, to the website of Hella. I can select some exterior Venetian blinds. And maybe I want this one, this Arc 365 ECN White 916. And then I'll go and send it to my Dialux. So just press this one, send to Dialux. And now it should be here. Okay, it's loading. There you go, perfect. So my uh, vertical blinds will be Hella. So I'll just go and drag and drop. So what you can see right now is a blinds that I only did using an extrusion volume. Maybe you're asking why I have so many blinds here. I have this uh, blinds inside and then blinds outside. So uh, this one, the blind, the gray, uh, the sorry, the beige blinds that you're seeing right now in the in interior is just an extrusion object. It it will not affect the calculation for uh, artificial lighting. But if you want to run your daylighting, you need to go and select your blinds from Hella and also from uh, the glass manufacturer. Precisely what is the reflection factor, the transmit transmittance value, etc., etc. of that glass. Because there are different uh, types of glass that you used in a uh, facade or daylighting calculation. Um, if you will notice there are different colors especially the tint the degree or the percentage of the tint of the glass so it will not admit too much light inside your uh, building or inside your room so but this one so we use the Hella for our uh, tutorial purposes and, and I'm not promoting Hella okay so just select this one and then when you selected it there are options here on your uh, left side corner that you can select a different types of glass so go back go and select this one so there's an arrow here be below the hella brand so there is a user defined and we will have um, double heat insulation glass 2 and there is also double solar control glass 2 there's also triple solar glass 2, 3, and glass 1. So I am not familiar with the uh, classification of glass because I'm not into, I'm not an expert for uh, glass. <laughs> okay. But there are some uh, classifications here and you may check that one in the Google, of course. So, but you mentioned, uh, Michael, that you will have a double glazing with solar factor and shading heat gain coefficient so what i'm going to use is a double solar control ah there's also heat insulation here now so i'll just got use this term so i'll have double heat insulation glass 2 select that one and there is also material type here there's a red green 
and you can see that the reflection factor of this double heat insulation glass 2 is 23.2 percent and the de degree of transmission is 65.7 percent and the reflect refractive index is 1.5 again uh, this reflection factor degree of transmission these are the terms or uh, words that is up uh, for the specification of the glass and if you're not familiar with it you can ask the glass manufacturer about this okay so once you select that one you may now uh, again turn on or turn off these blinds inside so I can just go and maybe put it up so how to do that select this one and uh, put the lever up one two three boom and now you can see that I don't have any more blinds to cover this glass so it's purely a glass lighting calculation there is no blinds at all okay so after you do that again if it's a daylighting calculation you need to go to your light scene so go back to your light tab here at the top go to your light scene tab and then you need to check this uh, clear sky daylight calculation the default in Dialax Evo is no daylight because it's only actually calculating the artificial lighting which is based from the luminaires. Now if you want to run a daylighting calculation then you need to check this one. You will select either the clear sky, the average sky or the overcast sky. To maximize the potential of the daylight or the sunlight, uh, you need to select the clear sky. And of course you can again select the time. To do the calculation in lead certification they will ask you to run a calculation during 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock or I think 3 o'clock or 1 o'clock okay I'll need to double check, check that one and uh, you can ask your client of what time they want to run the calculation because they will know uh, the time when there is too glare too much glare inside that building okay so Again, it depends on the region because if you are uh, living in the or if the project is in the upper part of the planet Earth, then the, the sun rays is a little dip. But if you are in the tropical area, then the sun is too high. Like in 12 o'clock, the shadow is really on the top of that object. And if you want to learn more, just visit and log into my um, Udemy courses. I have lots of courses about lighting design techniques. And you can also watch free video tutorials in my YouTube channel, Nel Karoko Lighting Design. And if you want to be my friend on Facebook and uh, follow me in my LinkedIn account, you can do so. So just visit Nel Karoko in Facebook page and Nel Karoko in my LinkedIn account. Okay, so see you again on the next video. Bye!